Welcome to Solutions Studio. This is a free series on C programming language. If you like these videos, please subscribe to follow along with this series. Also, please like and leave a comment and share the video to help spread this series. Hello and welcome to this episode and in this episode we are going to determine the sizes of a few standard types, an array and a pointer. Now let's go and see how this program works. We have defined some variables of each type, for example from char we have a variable c, from short we have a variable s and going on just like that we have different types and uh, different variables. And finally, we are going to print the size of the variable itself and also the size of the type of that variable. Let's go and run this program so you can see the results. You can see that the size of a variable C is equal to one byte and the size of the char type itself is also one byte. The size of a short is two bytes. The size of an integer is four bytes. The size of a long integer is 4 bytes as well. The size of a long, long integer it a is 8 bytes. The size of a float variable is 4 bytes and the size of a double variable is 8 bytes. And the size of a long double variable is 16 bytes. Now let's look at the array. The array, the size of the array is 80. That is because we have 20 elements and each element is type of integer. So integer has a size of 4. 4 times 20 is 80. And the size of the pointer that is pointing to the array is 8. Usually the size of the pointer is static on each system. So it will not make any difference whether the size of the array becomes longer or shorter. The size of the pointer will stay the same and that is 8 bytes. Now also remember that uh, these values are system dependent and depending on the implementation of each system, these sizes might be different. And that's it for this episode. I hope this has been informative for you and I would like to see you in the coming episodes. Stay tuned.